Hey guys, Celtic Fire here. I'm gonna continue playing Pokemon Fire Red, and in the last part, we got our first starter Pokemon, Squirtle, and now we're going to go head on north and see what's up here. Uh, we got a person here. Let's talk to them. Look, look, I copied what it said on one of the, those trainer tip signs. Trainer tips. Press start to open the menu. So yes. Push start, there's your menu, you can go to the Pokemon, which there's Squirtle. Go to the bag, which there's my I the potion I took out earlier from the PC, the key items, which we'll get into later. Pokeball, that's where you store all your different type of Pokeballs. And that's everything in your bag. <clears throat> now, one thing before we actually go north up on Route 1, we're gonna go in here and go into Blue's house and talk to his sister. Red, I heard you had a battle against Blue. I wish I had seen that. Maybe it's the originals that I'm thinking of that you get a town map after you do that. I don't know. I could be wrong. So let's head up this way. So, Route 1. Um, the grass here, as you can see, when you're stepping in it, you get to uh, battle different type of Pokemon, as you can see. This is one of the Pokemon on the route. Pidgey. The other Pokemon, I believe, that is on this route is a Rattata. <clears throat> and... Personally, I don't like Rattata. Rattata is a pretty bad Pokemon. It can learn good moves like Hyper Fang, which is a decent move, but all in all, I don't think it's worth catching a Rattata. Um, I'm also going to probably cut most of these wild Pokemon battles or non-essential trainer battles. I, um, here's another sign right oh. As you can see, there's ledges there you can jump over. We'll go into that later. But um, signs there, if you push A, you can read them. Sometimes they'll give you directions like there, which as you can see, we're on Route 1, heading to Viridian City. And the other ones will be like trainer tips, like the other girl that we talked to earlier was mentioning. So let's talk to this guy. Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. It's part of a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in Viridian City. Here, I'll give you an example. And if you talk to him, he'll give you another potion. So now we have two potions. Um, but we'll keep heading north on the route. Um, so as you can see, here's another person. Uh, see those ledges on the road? Uh, as we said, as I said earlier, that you can uh, use the ledges to get down faster. As I was saying before, I was interrupted by the Rattata. Um, you can use those ledges over here like those brown, those two right here, to jump down and you can avoid the grass in this area. Now in that battle I will show you here, uh, Squirtle leveled up to level 7 and he also learned a new move, oops wrong button, learned a new move, Bubble. It's a water type and it's a not a very good move but it's a good early move, especially for the upcoming gym we'll say. Um, so here we are in Viridian City, our fir the first city of the game. So I'm going to heal up real quick and I'll meet you back outside. Alright, now that I don't, I'm all healed up, and by the way, Pokemon Centers, you can heal your Pokemon for free, no charge, don't have to worry about a thing. Alright, so let's head up north again. I absolutely forbid you from going through here. This is private property. Well, apparently the whole north part of the game is owned by this man. Um, <laughs> so we can't go up that way yet, so we could go this way to Route 24? 22. I was completely off. <laughs> By two. But, um, Route 22, we don't want to go that way just yet. We'll head that way later. But for now, we're going to head up here and get this potion. In the earlier games, where this tree was, you'd have to push A. Um, as you can see, it's telling me I can cut the down the tree, but in the earlier games, you could just push A on that tree and you'd find the potion. So in red, blue, yellow, there's an easy potion for you. Now we have three. Okay, and so now that we've gone to the Pokemon Center, let me show you the other thing, the Pokemart. In the Pokemart, you can... Hey, you came from Palatown? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can you take it back to him? <sighs> I guess. Receive the parcel, and that gets put in the key, key item pocket. 
Now, in the Pokemon Mart, I don't think you can yet. No, okay. But later in the game, you can buy Pokeballs, different sorts of Pokeballs, uh, potions, all the different types of potions, repels, which I will probably be using a lot of, so that way we don't have to cut all the time. And, um, other stuff. I can't. Oh, uh, status healing. Things like antidotes and awakenings. So now we're going to use these ledges here and avoid the grass on the way back. And head on back to Professor Oak. And I'll meet you at the lab. Alright, here we are. Let's go into the lab. Talk to Professor. Oh, Brad, how is my old Pokemon? It seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be a talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? Do you have something for me? And then we give him the parcel. Oh, that's a custom Pokeball. Now, I've always wondered what the custom Pokeball was. I wondered if it was a, another Master Ball in the game that they just never gave you. Which, we'll get into a Master Ball later when we get the Master Ball. Uh, I had it on order. Thank you. Blue Gramps. I almost forgot what you call me for. Oh, yes, I forgot. I have a request for you, too. On the desk, here's an invention, the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you see in our cart. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Let and Blue take these with you. So now we have a Pokédex. A Pokédex will allow us to see all the different type of Pokémon that we encounter throughout the journey. And now we have received five Pokéballs, so now we can catch Pokémon. Uh, third... No, da, 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 yeah. Uh, we get a tutorial later in the game about how to throw Pokeballs, I will leave that in here in case you don't know how. Um, but for now, oh, now here we go. You mentioned something about a town map, so now we probably get a town map. Guess I had to do that errand for him first. So let's head out of here. Now let's go to Blue's house and see if we can actually get the, get the town map. So let's talk to her. Grandpa asked you to run an errand. Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help. What love from his grandchildren. Alright, so now we have, if we go to the bag and key items, we now have a town map. Now, I don't really need to use the town map. I kind of know where everything is. But as you can see, this is the world of Kanto. And there's Viridian City as that we were just at. As you can see, we could go south if we were able to swim across the, across the water, but we can't do that yet. So we'll be heading north to, back to Viridian City, and probably won't be going this way yet, because we can't really do too much this way. So we'll be heading north from there to Route 2, because you probably want to go in sequential order, obviously. So, let's head that way. I'll meet you back up in Viridian City. All I want to do is eat lunch, come on! Yes, finally! Spiro, this is what I've been looking for. Spiro is a normal flying type, and it has a very good moveset, I would say, for uh, for between the two bird Pokemon. You can, bird Pokemon, look at me. It used to be a type, and I think it's in the game's coding, but no, it's a, out of the two flying types, Spiro is the more... Um, the attacker and it can uh, deal out more damage than Pidgey can. So I think I would like to welcome Pidgey, or not Pidgey, <laughs> Spiro to the team. Now, uh, by the way, you might have noticed there that Squirrel might be a different level or something, like experience wise, because my computer froze again. So that took me about another 10 or 15 minutes to actually try to find this Spiro. But as you saw, I was weakening the Pokemon, so that way it's easier to catch. Now, if you go to your Pokeballs part of your bag and throw a Pokeball, it, we should be able to catch this. Alright. One, two, three. Yes! Alright, we got a Spiro. Alright, Spiro's data was added to the Pokedex. Spiro, the tiny Pokemon. I think it'd be Tiny Bird, unless that's Pidgey's. I'll leave an annotation if that is apparently Pidgey's. <laughs> it busily flits around here and there. Even if it's, it is frail, it can be tough foe that uses Mirror Move. Mirror Move is a move that Spiro can apparently learn. 
All right, but I think that just about does it here. So I'm going to save right here. And next time on Pokemon Fire Red, we are going to head north into or north past Viridian City and see what it holds to it for us. So until next time, this is Celtic Fire. Have a great day.